So we're here at Crofts 2012 with Mark. What's been going on this year? Loads of stuff. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of those Crofts I think everyone will remember for what's been happening in, in the judging yes. and the vet checks uh, and the progress that uh, the Kennel Club and Pedigree Dogs as a whole seem to be making. Um, it's been a really good atmosphere. I know the attendance has been really good. There's been some great products uh, on show. Um, yeah, exciting and day four, so we're all flagging a little bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's been really good. Really enjoyed it. Um, last year I did a little interview with you and you had your, your new book out. Has anything gone? What, what happened yeah, with that? Yeah, new book's done really well. It's, there's now a children's version. <laughs> there's now a children's version called uh, Pets in Need, which is for sort of eight plus. Right. Um, it's for budding vets and budding animal loving kids um, to get stuck in. And there's like a glossary at the end. It's about like behind the scenes of an emergency vet. So it's cases and, and we explain at the end what all the sort of words mean and try and inspire young people to, you know, to get involved and, and be vets or work with animals or Brilliant. just respect animals. Yeah. Um, Pulp Aid's a big thing. I know we've been involved with Pulp Aid with you. What, that seems to be going from strength to strength this year. Yeah, uh, we had three in Brighton and it got really big. Um, the celebrities are getting bigger. Uh, i explain what it is. It's basically raising awareness via celebrities and music of puppy farming. So it's trying to make something that's quite serious animal welfare uh, cross over to the, to the mainstream media. If you I saw like. Um, Bob Geldof gave it a mention. Bob Geldof gave it a mention. We've had Liam Gallagher involved. We've had Brian May. It's been incredible. So we're moving it to London this year on the 8th of September. Um, and it's just going to be bigger and better and more awareness because I think like most dog lovers in the industry, we're all getting a bit fed up of it, the problem actually getting worse, um, which is a result of celebrity culture and it's a result of convenience and it's a result of people looking in the Friday ad and getting a puppy delivered the next day. So the only way to really sort the problem, instead of waiting for the government or any welfare organisations to get involved and, and, and sort the problem out at source, is to actually tackle it by stopping people buying them in the first place and raise awareness about where to get a dog, which is go to a, a kennel club recommended breeder, preferably an assured breeder, or a rescue, and that's it. And once people realise those are the only options to get a dog, then it has to stop because you'll starve the supply. So it's kind of a long way round doing it, but like most people, we're getting a bit annoyed that it's just carrying on. And no think, one really seems to care about it. I think the awareness that you're bringing to it is, is getting through, though. Yeah. I think with everything, it takes a little while, doesn't Oh, it? yeah, for sure. But we're, we're now dealing with huge brands, big celebrities, uh, huge media partners. And, you know, I'm launching a campaign uh, on Mother's Day, which is a week today, called the Where's Mum campaign. And it's to encourage people to ask where mum is when they get a pup. So anything to to sort of knock out that step of pet shops and, and Friday ad and buying online with free delivery. And so that's another celebrity driven campaign with celebrities and their mums. And I'm launching it next weekend with Lydia and Debbie from TOWIE. Oh yeah. And because they love dogs, they love yeah. Westies. And it's basically just trying to sort of pull together as dog lovers or animal lovers to do some good. So obviously there's no financial uh, Gain, yeah. gain for me or anyone it's just actually a, a mutual appreciation and love of animals and a sort of frustration of a problem that should actually be sorted out by the government or by certain animal welfare organisations that isn't so I thought I'd join up with a few like minded people like yourselves and actually tackle the problem in a creative way um, and a productive way which seems to be happening How do people get in touch if they want to support Papaid? Papaid uh, is papaid.org or um, you can follow us on Twitter, which is at Pupaid. Um, or if you want anything about what I'm doing and Pupaid, it's markthevet.com or at markthevet on Twitter. I'm very easy to find, especially when I'm wearing these new blue pyjamas <laughs> running around the NEC. Um, but yeah, it's all about animal welfare. It's all about interesting, creative ways of making a really serious animal welfare point cross over and for people to take notice. And it's very unpreachy. And it means people can engage and they can join in and they can feel part of something that's really special and will sort the problem out eventually. I mean, it's, we're not going to stop until it's done. And it will happen. So okay. I'm looking forward to that day um, because I've got a fantastic team with me and we all, we're all working hard to make puppy farming end. So we're going to stop the demand. Excellent. Thank you very much, All right. Mark. Thank you for thank asking you. me.